All right, now that this is finished, I'm totally finished my drawing. And I'm gonna study this. I'm gonna double check uh, all the shadows are put in, but here I wanna clean it up a little bit. I, I have a few smudge marks here. I might wanna uh, clean that up a smidge. So I'm gonna get my white eraser here and maybe just do a little cleanup work and nothing major, just, just a little cleanup. Cause you don't wanna erase those construction lines. You wanna leave all the construction lines, but if there's anything that just looks really um, careless, I suppose. Try to clean that up. Some of these things you won't be able to clean up, uh, but you might be able to lighten it a little bit more. Little trick here. If you do want to uh, clean the edge up, I think I showed this in a couple videos, but all you have to do is put a, uh, a piece of pencil, or a piece of pencil, a piece of paper and cover the pencil line and you can see that the graphite smudges are on the other side and then you get an eraser and then you erase and you pull towards your body while holding the paper taut. And then you pull on your body on both sides of the paper um, as you're erasing and then you get that nice kind of clean edge there. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna do that a little bit here and there and clean this up. And another thing that I want you to consider doing or two things is See, I got a little careless there. I got to go back in and fill that little space in. That was, I'm just trying to rush. Um, I've mentioned this before, but you can cut, you can get your dark blue pencil and you can go back in and I'm not going to use this guy. It's just going to be smear every, 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 everything, but you can go back in and get a, uh, allow some of those lines to go past the point of intersection, just like I did there. And again, it just adds a little flavor to your drawing, it kind of shows those construction lines a little bit more um, because there's a combination of line and see how it fades out. Don't just end it like that one, fade it out like that one. Um, so there's a combination of line and value working together as one and in this direction so you don't have to go crazy but some of those lines throw in back in uh, maybe i'll do one up here and the last thing i want you to do let me put one more here is uh double check all the values see if everything feels so monotone that you might want to just get a little bit of contrast in areas if you need it and if if it doesn't read well, but if it reads well, then leave it. And if there's areas that you just want to describe a little bit more, like for example, I'm looking at this little edge right here where the, the cylinder ends, this guy, and I'm going to get my dark pencil here and I'm just going to darken that edge just a little bit more. Because it's not only you're using contrast of value, but you're also using line to make that differentiation between one form and another. And sometimes that just helps pop um, the objects out. I might do it again on this sphere, just so the sphere kind of um, has a little bit more presence. And if anything doesn't read well, then you can do these three tricks to do it. Adjust the value, um, add, darker value on the line and clean up the edges. All right, I believe that is it. And I'm gonna finish this up. And that's, that's all she wrote. Actually, let me just turn it this way before I 